and collaborate across um, different organizations in the room. Organizations um, showed their interest in partnering in dry season farming, agricultural input supplies, and agrofinancing. Um, an organization in our, in our cluster um, shared their inputs on how they've been able to use uh, cluster farming uh, to support the fight against youth restiveness uh, with a key statement that if youths are actively engaged in agricultural uh, activities during the day, it will be difficult for them to engage in um, conflict uh, activities at night. So we had a key word that if you, if you engage them in the daytime, they will not have the time to engage you at night. So one of the innovations that we actually looked around was soilless farming, vertical farming and soilless farming. And um, one of the organizations among um, the team we worked with spoke about how they've been able to provide trainings in um, hydroponics, aeroponics, and other form of soilless farming to youths across um, the southwest of Nigeria and looking to scale to the northeast, the north central, and the northwest in Nigeria. And of course, the provision of renewable energy, training on renewable energy in agriculture. Um, that is one of the innovations we, we got. And then um, another organization is planning, committed to plan to start training young persons in agricultural business, in agribusiness from primary schools to secondary schools to take the message down to those schools so that when it becomes interesting to, um, to young persons that agriculture is yielding the result it should yield, they will grow up into becoming very remarkable farmers. A strong commitment that came out from um, notably the CHC AgriTech Africa is that they will be training, they will try, they will try to train um, farmers to transition from conventional agriculture into the use of probiotics um, in agriculture to enable the yield increase. And to do this, they will need a lot of partnership. Um, one, another striking thing from our session is that though there is a, a huge funding gap for agribusinesses across the country, but with collaboration and the will for people to collaborate, this gap can be closed. Not necessarily by the provision of funds or money, but by the provision of information. Information is power and information is key for agribusiness to survive, for food insecurity to be tackled and for conflict to be tackled. There, there needs to be a free flow of information at, as at when due. Thank you. Thank you. Information is power and it is key for agribusiness to thrive. Rafael Ebiabi representing Mexico. Once again, can we put our hands together for him? And on that note, I think that brings us to the end of the summary of um, the breakout sessions that we had. Please, um, our very distinguished guest, let me welcome the senior manager, Sahel Consultant, and personal Fishayo Kayode for a closer remark. There she is. Please, let's give her a resounding applause. It's not easy. Thank you. Good afternoon, esteemed change makers. On behalf of Sahel Consulting, I would like to express our profound gratitude to all those who contributed to the success of Sahel Food Systems Change Makers 2024. Firstly, we would like to thank our esteemed guests, the Honorable Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Security, Dr. Saliu, Dr. Sabi Abdullahi, and the Honorable Minister of Budget and Planning, well represented by Dr. Sonjo Faniro, for their valuable contributions to this conference. We deeply appreciate the interactive session led by the Honorable Minister. We would also like to specially thank our keynote speaker, Melissa A. Jones, the Mission Director of USAID for her insightful address on the role of innovative governance in achieving food security. Our sincere appreciation goes to our esteemed organizers and sponsors of this conference, African Food Chain Makers, German Corporation and GIZ, 
Mercy Corps, GAIN, Chemonix, Hefa International, IFPRI, Scaling Up Nutrition, CJID, and Cascade. Thank you so much for believing in our cause and your commitment to food security are truly commendable. We extend our thanks to all the exhibitors for their support, the beautiful display of their products, services, and the initiatives have been instrumental in showcasing the efforts going on in promoting local food production. I would also like to thank our participants. I like to call you change makers. We are all change makers and that's why you are here in this room. Thank you for joining us today. Your active engagement and insightful discussions have, been made, have made this conference a truly rewarding one. Finally, to all staff at Sahel Consulting and AFC and our esteemed board members, thank you for your hard work and enthusiasm. Your passion and energy have been invaluable in ensuring the smooth running of this conference. We are confident that the Sahel Food Chainmakers Conference 2024 has provided, provided a valuable platform for exchanging ideas, showcasing innovation, and fostering partnerships towards the building of resilient and sustainable food systems in Nigeria. The work doesn't end in this room, and I implore you all to roll up our sleeves so that we can swing to action afterwards. God bless you all. God bless Nigeria. See you at Sahel Chainmakers Conference 2025. All right, to so all the changemakers in the house, please give yourselves a beautiful and a louder round of applause. Thank you all. And on that note, that brings us to the end of this year's conference. Hopefully, we pray that may we get to be alive to eat next, next year's conference. Amen, God willing. Thank you all so much for coming out. It means a lot to all of us. Please kindly line up in two lines. The ushers will direct you. Meal tickets will be given to everybody. Please enjoy your lunch before you leave. My name is Zulehat Belagobir, and I've been your host. Thank you for having me. And to my amazing sign language interpreters, I'd say well done. Do, all, do have a good night. <laughs>